there's a lot of a great deal of uncertainty because they don't know when this is going to end. Like there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. I'm Chow Vu and I work at Mercy Housing Human Development Nonprofit Organization in Gulfport, Mississippi. And a member of the Mississippi Coalition for Vietnamese American Fisher Folks and Families. Before Hurricane Katrina, we had approximately at least 7,000 Vietnamese American households in the three coastal counties. The majority lived in Biloxi, particularly East Biloxi. And when Hurricane Katrina struck, we lost thousands of homes and businesses in East Biloxi alone. And the maritime industry was devastated. We still haven't fully recovered from Hurricane Katrina. So many people, this is their livelihood, this is all they know. So um, they're extremely worried. He applied for work a little bit over 10 days ago. He's, he's waiting on it. He doesn't know if he's going to get hired. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that uncertainty is worrisome to him. He said he can't, he's, he's not able to work, he's waiting on DP. He only received like 2500 for economic losses last month and that's the only amount he received so far that he's been living off on to provide support to his family. I think with for ethnic minority groups, there are some um, distinctions I can see. Just the language access. So you can't, you can't get like information conveyed like accurately or in a timely manner. Whether that information is coming from BP or federal government agency or state agency, there's like a gap between the information when it's finally accurately translated and disseminated. So some people may feel like they're getting the information too late. Right? So it's, it's always been a challenge and this only compounds it. They talk a great deal about the Vessels Opportunity Program, how talented it is to get work, you know, under that program, about the BP claims process, that there's not a consistent standard and structure, and it's very difficult with some of the documentation requirements they're demanding of folks. He feels that we're being passed over, the Vietnamese community being passed over because they prefer, like, maybe Caucasians, right? Maybe there could be some discrimination or because they feel that we have uh, language barriers, that they shouldn't bother trying to communicate with us because we don't understand. Traditionally, for many ethnic minority groups, we are underserved, overlooked, and marginalized, you know, and many times resources are slow in coming to our communities. Okay, The service needs and the advocacy needs of these people who are the most misunderstood and miss. That's why some of the fishermen got angry and stormed out. And this is a I have to help, you know, it's not just Vietnamese, the others as well, whether it's Caucasian, African American, you know. We all need to help support each other, if, if, whether that's doing some advocacy work, providing some direct service work, or addressing some of the language needs through interpretation or translation, you know. I love the Gulf Coast, you know, it's for all its imperfections and flaws, it's still a treasure, it's home. Basically, it's home for me, and it's just a matter of being concerned and loving the community and just trying the best to help, you know, my small part and capacity. Uh, after the, uh,